Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AEC Technical Specialist with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be discussing plotting and layouts in AutoCAD. Right now, we're looking at Sheet 001, and this is considered a layout. We're in layout space right now. Let's go back to model space by clicking on model right down here. In model space, we typically create our objects and group them. So we can make as many objects as we want and make sure that they're isolated from each other if we want them to appear on different sheets, different layouts, or in different viewports. So if we go back to sheet 001, a viewport is this box right here. And this viewport allows us to control the scale of each individual group of objects. So, for example, if I double click inside of this viewport, we can see that now a scale has appeared at the bottom of our screen, and this viewport is at three quarters of an inch equals a foot. This one is at a different scale, it's at one half of an inch equals a foot. I've made them different scales in order to show that you can have different kinds of objects with different scales on the same sheet. As long as they fit in their viewport, you can show them. If we switch back to model space, you'll notice that our scale, which doesn't appear in layout space because layout space doesn't have a scale, if we go to model space, it has its own scale. Right now, it's at default one to one. So model space is used to create our objects and we can make them at any size that we'd like. And then we can control their actual size and how we can measure them on paper in our layout space. In layout space, we have access to the layout tab found right here. In model space, we don't see the layout tab. So let's go back to our sheet. And let's click on our layout tab. Here we can click on the new dropdown and we can make new layouts. We can either make them from scratch or from templates. So let's make a new one right now. When we click on it, all we need to do is press enter and we can use the default name layout one if we want to. But we have the chance to rename our layout. So let's call it sheet 002 and now we'll press enter. Now we have our new layout at the bottom of our screen. When we click on it, we can see that it has its own viewport already ready to go and we can customize it as we see fit. Let's go back to sheet 001 and let's continue in the layout tab. We can make new viewports by clicking on rectangular or we can click on the drop down and we can make polygonal and object viewports. Polygonal viewports are a bit more flexible and you can use them if you want to make an irregular shaped viewport and you want to fit many different viewports onto the same sheet. But let's say that you have a viewport such as this one and you want to cut out some of the extra white space. So some of the space right here isn't necessary and some of the space right here on the left side of the detail isn't necessary either. So we can change a rectangular viewport into a polygonal one. We don't have to remake it from scratch. All we need to do is click on the clip button right here. So clip basically is telling us to select a viewport first. We're going to select it and press enter. Then it's asking us to basically draw what we want to keep in our viewport. So I'm going to turn my snaps on. And I'm also going to make sure that nearest is turned on. And we're going to start on the bottom right side of this viewport. We'll click here. We'll go all the way to the top. And we'll stop right around here. And we'll basically cut out that portion right there. We'll keep going. We'll stop at the midpoint of the viewport. We'll go a little bit to the right and down. And then we'll end our clip and we'll press enter. Now we've clipped the viewport and we've turned it from a rectangular viewport into a polygonal one. Now there isn't really a need to do this unless you're going to be showing the viewport when printing. I'm going to show you how we basically hide viewports when printing. All you need to do is go to your layer properties manager. You can do this by going to the home tab and you can click on layer properties right here. I already have mine open and ready to be used so I'm going to click on it right here. Let's make sure that it doesn't auto hide. So here we have many different layers and one of the layers that we're using is the viewport layer. So let's scroll all the way down and there it is. Basically my viewports are on this layer and the difference between this layer and the other layers besides its color and other properties is plot. So right now you can see that the printer icon for this layer is a little bit different. It has a red circle here. This means that this layer is not going to print. It's going to be visible in my drawing so I can see my viewports and I can modify them when I need to. But when I print, I will not see them. Let's see what that looks like when we actually print. There are several ways that we can print our sheet. We can click on the big red AutoCAD icon and we can click on print. Or we can enable our shortcut for plotting by going to our quick access toolbar, clicking on the drop down and making sure that there's a check next to plot. Let's plot now. 
Here we can choose our page setup. This saves all of our previous settings and allows us to use them over and over again for different DWGs. Then under printer and plotter, we can choose which printer we want to plot to directly, or we can create a PDF out of our DWG. I like to use DWG to PDF. You can also use AutoCAD PDF, which has different qualities associated with it, and other programs will install plugins that allow you to print to them, for example. Let's use DWG to PDF. Under page size, we can choose whether or not we want a regular page size to match our original layout space page size, which is 24 by 36. Instead of just using ArchD, we could use Arch Expand D, which allows us to print slightly inside of the margins. Let's use ArchD for now. Then under plot area, we can choose whether to plot the layout, we can plot the extents, we can plot the display, we can just plot a window, which is a portion of our layout, or we can just plot a view. In this case, we're going to plot the entire layout. If we needed to, we could also offset the layout by offsetting the horizontal x-axis or the vertical y-axis slightly, if we needed to. Also, if it wasn't centered, we could center the plot if we needed to by clicking on Center Plot. Because the plot fits our sheet entirely, there's no option for us to center it because it's already centered. Before we go into the other options, let's go and look at a print preview. Right now we can see that the viewports that I had shown you guys earlier are not being printed. And that's because they were turned off. But while we're in this print preview, we can zoom in by clicking our left mouse button and dragging back and forward. We can also use our middle mouse wheel to scroll back and forth. And when we're done viewing our print preview, we can go to the upper left and we can click on close preview window or we can press the escape key. There are also several other options for navigating this preview. Let's press escape now and let's go back to our plot style options. Here under plot style table, we can go and we can choose how our line styles are going to be plotted. For example, certain line weights are going to be associated with certain colors for certain plot styles. So if you look at these screening plot style tables, basically certain styles are going to have certain thicknesses and certain transparency. So 100% will be fully visible, 75% will be slightly translucent, so on and so forth. The AutoCAD.CTB will include the original colors that we use, and Monochrome, which is what I'm going to be using, basically makes everything black and white, and certain gray tones will be thicker than other gray tones. So let's use Monochrome.CTB. Under Quality, we can choose whether or not we're going to use normal quality, and if we choose a higher quality, then either our PDF or the print itself will require more ink or more, it will take up more space as a PDF. Under plot options, we can plot in the background. This is very good for large files. What this means is that you can still use AutoCAD while plotting and the process will be here on the bottom right and it will just plot while you're working. If you just have a sheet or two, then you can plot very quickly and that way you don't have to worry about plotting in the background, which usually takes a little bit longer than regular plotting. Here we can enable plot object line weights if we want to or not. We can disable that. We can also plot paper space last, which means that objects in model space in our viewports are going to be plotted first. This depends on your printer, and this might change a few things. You can hide certain paper space objects. For example, objects like these, this text right here and this text right here are paper space objects, so we could hide them if we wanted to. And we can enable a plot stamp, which basically makes a special stamp on the corner of a drawing and it makes a special log for that file if you're keeping track of all of your files. And you can go to drawing orientation and you can choose portrait or landscape. One last set of options that we skipped over was plot scale. This basically is different from our model space and layout scales and our viewport scales. So if we want to change how the plot is going to print, if we wanted it to print at half of its original scale without having to change any of our settings in our sheet or in our model space, then we can change our scale. For now, we're going to leave the scale as is because we want to use the viewport scales that I've already designated. And when you're ready, all you need to do is click OK. And now AutoCAD is going to ask you to save your PDF wherever you want, and then you can open your PDF in any PDF viewing program. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on plotting and layouts in AutoCAD. Once again, my name is Ari. I'm an AEC Technical Specialist with Digital Drafting Systems, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.